All right, quick walk around video on the 79 Scout I've got for sale. Um, the front grill, if you'll notice, doesn't match the rest of the truck. I don't know what the story is with that. It was That's the way it was when I got it. And it's a 76 grill. Um, the, the old man that I bought it from buys and sells parts as well. So uh, I bought the 76 grill because I already had a 79 and that one was in good shape. So anyway, he's like, which grill do you want? So you know, I picked that one. Um, that's not paint. We have animals. So I'm just going to leave that there. Um, we've got a farm. Original paint. Uh, we've got, there's the quarter on the back. There's the rocker. I'll open the door. There's a little spot you see right there by the seatbelt. And that little lip on the edge of the rocker where it meets the floor is rusted off, but they always are. And there's a little spot right there on the floor in the back, right? Right there. Uh, other than that, I've been using it for storage, so the inside's ratty. Uh, but up here's, it's, again, it's dirty, it's filthy, but uh, all there. Uh, the cover I have, I think I told you I had to take the uh, cables bad. I had to knock it out of uh, gear. But this this is in the floor of the truck. I've got that. Uh, back floor, I can go around to the back, but there's nothing there on the back side. Uh, I think I mentioned as well, oh, there's the rim uh, edge of the top. A few sp rust spots there toward the back. I'll go around the other side. On the back corner, yeah, there's a little spot there on the bottom of the rear quarter. And you see a little... Uh, surface rust spots poking through right there. I talked to my buddy, it's a body guy. He was saying, get this patched and uh, cut the bottom there right at the trim line and then paint it and you'd never see it. Uh, in my mind, it's the, same, the rust is the same color as the truck. I don't think anybody would see it that low anyway because I had to kind of squat down and notice it. Anyway, let's go around the other side. This fender kind of the same as the quarter on the other side. There's a little spot there on the bottom that would need to be patched. There again, patch it right on that tr line where the, tri where the trim goes. Paint the bottom part and you'd never know. Uh, the little surface rust there. Um, and then on the side here, this rocker. Sorry, I've got a bunch of stuff to step over here. All right, again, it's filthy. Uh, front floors full of dirt and whatnot. Rear floor, no holes there. There's one, two, three, few little spots on this rocker on this side, but the rest of the rocker is good. Um, the back, again, nothing there. That's not a hole, that's paper. Uh, of course, that's the holes where the back seat mounts. Oh, oh, the rail back here on this side. There you go. Go out the top. Now there's some surface rust on the top from where the paint, again, it's original paint, uh, but where the paint had simply faded and then the rust has kind of poked through. Uh, but obviously that can be painted or simply oil it. Uh, you got a couple little spots right here on that top ridge. Bottom here has a place that a guy needs to kick out. Uh, let's see if I can see it. Kind of looks like a Probably once upon a time somebody had a blowout and the tire flopped up there and hit it. You could knock it out though. And the, both the corners are good. The rear corner is good. The other rear corner actually is straight, which is highly unusual for a scout. The back. Again, maybe this is a better picture from the front from the back. Um, I've not done anything to it. Again, remember, the old guy I bought it from sells parts. So this is the condition. Well, other than the stuff that's in it, it's my stuff. But Everything was stripped out of it when I got it. So I don't have the dash pad. I probably have another one uh, at home, but I don't, there wasn't a dash pad in it. Um, windshield's got a crack in it, you see there. There's the, this side, you see some rust along that edge. This side, basically the same thing. Uh, rear floor here and the tailgate. Again, I'm sorry it's so filthy, but that's just dirt and surface rust. That's not, there's no holes there. Uh, I've got a couple other part trucks, and they always rust right around that, right around there, right around that lip. But as you can see, all that's good. Just dirty. Um, there's a little bit right there on the bottom of the hatch. Does have a handle. Uh, 
Don't know if I have a key. Um, I do know that I have um, the other side ignition, or the, oh, sorry, the other side door keys broken. And I got, uh, it's got it, yeah, the key's in it. I think that's been rekeyed. If I, now don't quote me on this. I think that's been rekeyed. So that obviously doesn't match the doors. But I do have at home, and I will include with it, a new set of keys for the door locks and the ignition. Uh, so brand new set of this, that, and then the one on the other side, again with a round and a square key that match it. Um, under the hood, try to see under here as best we can. Again, surface rust on that lip where of course they all rust. Um, 345, four barrel, AC truck, power steering, power brakes, uh, windshield frame, <laughs> Again, gotta love that original paint. You see a little bit of surface rust there, but I mean, I'd rather have surface rust and original paint as to a slick paint job that you don't know, you know, what the heck somebody's done to it. Uh, front bumper, straight as an arrow. But yeah, back bumper is on it. I just looked, I forgot if it had one or not. Um, this side, you can see um, under the battery here, obviously it's ratty, but the inner fenders, and you can tell I'm kind of upside down, but Inner fenders are good on both sides. And there's see the windshield frame here. Again, solid there at the bottom. Cracking the windshield, uh, but that's it. And again, same surface rust on the side there, but it's a good one, man. It's, uh, it's solid. Um, I got it, because again, I like original paint. That's my 75, I'm not, it's not for sale. Uh, this is a one owner truck. I bought it from the guy's estate after he passed. Uh, 75 buckskin, original paint, I mean, it, it's a honey. But anyway, so these two are kind of my best two. I plan to keep this one just because it's complete. It's got everything in it, the seats are in it, the carpet's in it, all that good stuff. Uh, but I just kind of get rid of some stuff. So I'll probably put this one up for sale. But if you got any other questions, uh, feel free to let me know. I'll be glad to take any pictures or videos of, uh, of anything you like.